Hi guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel, ESP Daniela. So for today's video, I will be sharing with you all some top tech companies that will literally pay for your education, meaning scholarships. So let's just get into this video. So before I kick off this video, I just want to give you guys a bit more context about my background. So I am a scholarship expert. I personally have won 30 scholarships debt-free for undergrad and my graduate education and have helped a lot of people win scholarships, millions and millions of dollars of scholarships. And some of the scholarships that I will be sharing in this video, I personally have been able to help students win them, not just once, but multiple times. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, time to share my screen. I am on Zoom here. So let's see here. So first up, we have the Amazon Future Engineer Scholarship. Now with this one, I personally have been able to help two students win it back to back in 2022, as well as in 2021. And each time the scholarship is worth $40,000. So you might be asking yourself, who exactly is eligible for this scholarship? One thing I like to do is use control fine on my keyboard, go to eligibility and boom, it automatically shows up. So as you can see, this is the eligibility criteria. You have to be a US citizen, permanent resident, employment or employment authorization document holder, be a high school senior in the US who has completed or is currently enrolled in a computer science course and also dual enrollment, dual credit courses count as well. Additionally, you must plan to attain a bachelor's degree in computer science, software engineering, computer engineering, or other computer science related fields of study. And as far as your GPA, you have to have a minimum cumulative GPA of a 3.0 on a 4.0 scale, and you must demonstrate financial need. Now, for those watching who are not based in the US, if you scroll down a bit further, you see that they also offer scholarship programs in the following countries, Canada, France, Germany, India, and the UK. So make sure to look into those resources as well. Okay, so next up we have the scholarships that are funded by Google. So when we scroll down on this page here, as far as the eligibility, meaning who can apply, it says that you have to intend to be enrolled in or accepted as a full-time student in a bachelor's, master's, or PhD program at an accredited university or college in the US or Canada for the academic year. And again, Google, they have scholarships every single year. So don't pay attention to this year because you might be watching this like years after the fact that I already uploaded it. Now, this scholarship is also a STEM scholarship. I mean, these are given out by tech companies. So that is what you would imagine. However, with that being said, I want to share with you guys that these scholarships that are coming from tech companies don't necessarily always have to be for those interested in pursuing tech. So as an example of this, Google also has this scholarship called Doodle for Google. I personally applied for this when I was in high school. I didn't win, but if you do win, it is a lot of money and it is open to those K through 12 education, kindergarten, all the way to your senior year in high school. And the thing about it, it's really cool. So like, for example, if I go to Google's homepage, right? And you see how they have a different image that pops up like every now and then on their homepage. Well, they created a scholarship specifically for this purpose of where you design, like graphically design, or perhaps you physically draw your own version of what Google will be. And then if you are selected as a top winner, your art is featured on that homepage for a good 24 hours. Now, as I am filming this video, the deadline has already passed March 4th, because right now it is June when I'm recording. However, again, the scholarship has been around for years. It's one of those ones that happens just about every single year. So make sure to apply and don't miss the deadline. And then if you scroll down further, on the judging criteria, I really want you guys to look into this. If you are applying for a scholarship, especially these really competitive scholarships, like the ones offered by big companies everyone already knows about, they're going to get like thousands of applicants. So if they have a section on there that gives you the judging criteria, please take that seriously. Now, the judging criteria may show up like automatically on the page as you're scrolling, or it might be like in the fine print, the terms and conditions 
of the scholarship. So if it's not showing up directly, make sure to look for it instead. And also, as you can see with the scholarship, it has different competitive tiers, competitive levels. So you can win at the state territory level, national level, et cetera. And please guys, do not disqualify yourself from these opportunities because as you can see, it has to be original work. It also cannot contain copyrighted imagery or even contain logos. And I mentioned this in another video that shows like scholarships that are offered by food and beverage companies, drink companies. I had a student who won a $5,000 scholarship from Taco Bell. He almost didn't win it because in the background, he had a logo of Samsung and Samsung is totally unrelated to Taco Bell. And I told him he had to blur that out. And so he blurred it out and then he ended up winning that $5,000 scholarship. So make sure that you double, triple check your application. Okay, so next up we have the scholarships that are offered by Microsoft. So if we scroll down here, we see the eligibility. Let me zoom in for you guys. So the eligibility says you have to be enrolled full time in a bachelor's degree program at a four year college or university in the US, Canada, or Mexico at the time that you submit your application. You must also demonstrate a record of academic achievement and excellence. And because the scholarship is merit based, you must maintain a minimum of a 3.0 cumulative GPA and also show satisfactory progress toward an undergraduate degree in computer science, computer engineering or a related STEM principle. They also have a diversity conference scholarship. So this one will pay for your travel, hotel, meal stipend of $1,200. And I highly recommend guys that you attend conferences relating to your industry, relating to what you're majoring in college, because those can be life-changing. You learn so much, you network with people. And if they're willing to pay for the hotel, the airfare, the meals, you might as well apply. You might as well attend, okay? Now, I also want to highlight this scholarship from the Gates Foundation, which basically ties into being a Microsoft type of scholarship because Microsoft is owned by Bill Gates and then Bill Gates create the Gates Foundation, the Gates Scholarship, which used to be called the Gates Millennium, Millennia, whatever. So with this scholarship, it gives you a timeline of everything of what you will expect with it. So it's typically is available around July 15th, which is a month from now from when I'm recording this video. The deadline is September 15th, the semi-finalist phase, finalist interviews. And on that note with finalist interviews, make sure that you watch I have a YouTube video that talks about how to ace scholarship interviews, and you also can probably find online people speaking on their experience on how they were able to get the Gates Scholarship or what was previously known as the Gates Millennium Scholarship. So make sure to watch those videos and see what they're saying so that you can stand out more with your application. Now, as far as the eligibility for this scholarship, it says you have to be a high school senior and you have to be from at least one of the following ethnicities. So essentially for people of color, minorities, Pell Grants eligible, which is something that you will see if you're eligible for if you apply for the FAFSA. And then there's also you have to be a U.S. citizen, national, or permanent resident in good academic standing with a minimum cumulative GPA of a 3.3 on a 4.0 scale. Okay, so moving on, Dell has a scholarship program foundation. So if we scroll down here, all the way to scholarship criteria, we can see the eligibility and it says that you have to participate in a program approved college readiness program in grades 11 and 12. So basically junior, senior year, be on track to graduate from an accredited high school in the current academic year, demonstrate a need for financial assistance, be eligible to receive a federal Pell Grant in your first year of college, plan to enroll full-time at an accredited higher education institute, and have a minimum of a 2.4 GPA. And I really like that about this scholarship because, you know, especially during the pandemic, so many people, their GPAs or overall grades have just plummeted because not everyone is equipped or care to learn with virtual learning and so forth. So I'm glad that their minimum GPA requirement is lower than a 3.0. So as for the next tech company that gives out scholarships, we have Adobe. So as you can see here, when I scroll on the page, they have several scholarships, such as the Design Circle Scholarship Initiative, 
Adobe Women in Technology scholarships. Let's see, they even have fellowships. Now, fellowships are very similar to scholarships, so make sure that you are applying to both. But also on that note, fellowships are more so for those pursuing like grad school or PhD. And again, they have even more fellowships that you can apply to, residency, internships, et cetera, all these different opportunities. But we're going to look at specifically scholarships. We're going to go here where it says learn more for the Women in Tech scholarships. Oh, and also look at this. It says, congratulations to our 2022 Adobe Research WIT Scholars. So if I create a separate tab for that, you see all the names of people who actually won their scholarship. So as you can see, you see their name and their school, and it also shows previous years. So here's another thing that I recommend people to do. If you are really wanting a scholarship and you're seeing this, like people, the past winners and so forth, I would recommend to try and take the time to look up these people on LinkedIn, DM, direct message, email them, whatever it may be, and ask these people if they're comfortable enough to give you tips on how they were able to win it or even like reviewing over your application that you're about to submit because they clearly know what it takes to win that particular award. So anywho, going back to the eligibility for the Adobe Research Women in Tech Scholarship, if we scroll down here, it says eligibility criteria. And it says you have to identify as female, be a student currently enrolled as an undergraduate or master's student at a North American university. Forget about the academic year because they typically have this scholarship like every single year. Let's see, intend to be enrolled as a full-time undergrad or master's, be majoring in computer science, computer engineering, or closely related tech field, demonstrate leadership and participation in school and community activities, maintain a strong academic record, and not have a relative working for Adobe. Now, I'm glad that they mentioned this of where it says you can't have a relative working for their company because there are scholarships that sometimes have this as a requirement, but then there are also scholarships that will award people based on the fact that you have someone in your family or perhaps you yourself are working for that company. So make sure to look in both areas of those type of eligibility requirements. Okay, so for the final tech company that I'll be discussing in this video, if you can't tell, I'm out of breath, I need to eat. This is from Intel. So they have several scholarships available as you can see here. And if you scroll down further, they even have fellowships and research stipends. Now, this is especially important for those who are like in graduate school, doing a PhD, whatever it may be, because you would probably prefer for your research to be funded, for your education to be funded. Now, as far as how much these scholarships give out, the awards vary from $5,000 to $10,000 for African-American, Latinx, Native American women, and veteran students pursuing an undergraduate or graduate degree in STEM. Now, before you go, if you want a master list of all these scholarships that I mentioned in this video, as well as all the other videos that I have in this series of scholarships that are given out by corporate companies, I put together a free Google document that you can just go through. Everything's already hyperlinked, linking directly to those scholarships from those particular companies. All you have to do is first follow me on Instagram and then DM me with the word COSCO, which stands for Company Scholarships and I'll send it to you. And also, again, there's my book. There's my online course. You can get it cheaper if you want with this promo code for the online course. It gives my step-by-step -step strategies to winning multiple scholarships for myself and even more for other people across the globe. Make sure to consider looking into that, and you can preview both for free on my website just so you can get more of an insight if it's the right fit for you. But anywho, thank you again for watching this video. I hope that this was helpful. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any other comments, concerns, whatever it may be, and have a wonderful day. Bye.